Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make IKEA. If you managed to spot me in the intro to this video, leave a comment down below let me know where you think I was. The white concrete grid on the screen represents the amount of space required to make your IKEA. If you plan on building this in a world that is surrounded by other builds or you just want it placed in a specific way, I would highly recommend making the grid and also record the starting position. You should be able to find the instructions on the screen easy enough to follow and once you've done that, here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Begin by placing a blue concrete on top of the previously designated starting position. Extend it to the right by 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then up by 3. 1, 2, 3. Then place a yellow concrete in front of that block, extend it left by 2, 1, 2, and also right by 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Join that down to the ground, but also extend upwards by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, but also take that block and extend backwards by 4. One, two, three, four. Then join the yellow concrete back down to the ground. And then right of the yellow concrete, place a row of seven glass block extending, well, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then a blue concrete. Then seven more glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven a blue concrete, three glass, one, two, three, and then a blue concrete. We now want to extend that blue concrete backwards by 39. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. We then want to extend that thirty-ninth block all the way across the back of the build. And the idea is that we then want to extend it and join it back to the very start of the build. So we will end up with this rather large, I want to say rectangle, but it could be a square shape. So once that has been connected together, let's take a little bit of a look. You know what? That is looking very squarey. <laughs> Not scary, but squarey. So this is the shape that we want to have. With that complete, the next thing we want to do is come all the way back over to the very first block that we placed, which is this one on the front left corner of the build, and we want to extend this up by 9 using blue concrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just like this. We then want to extend this ninth block to the right and we want to join it down to the blue concrete row that we placed earlier. So this should 
kind of just sit behind that row of yellow concrete. Like that. We also want to take the top two corners of the blue concrete area and we want to extend them backwards. So this is the rather large square that we have on the front of the build. We want to extend these backwards and down and we want to join them to the frame of our IKEA. So we're going to do exactly that. It will take a little bit of time, but once we have finished it, we will end up with this rather modern, spectacular, large, other adjectives, blue shape that we have right here. What we then want to do is we want to grab our yellow concrete and we want to extend this yellow concrete block here, the highest yellow concrete that we have. We want to extend this over to the left and then down to the previous row of yellow concrete that we placed earlier. We also want to take the same yellow concrete block that we extended across and we want to extend it back by 11 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we want to extend that 11th block inwards. The idea is that it will eventually, once everything has been filled in, it will eventually connect back into the large blue shape that we just made. Next, we are going to build the window frames on the front of the build. So, we have a bunch of windows on the front of the build. Actually, just three of them, really. I don't know if we can that as a bunch. Well, we want to take the blue concretes in between each and extend them upwards by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We then want to join the fourth blue concretes together and also back to the entrance of the building, which is the yellow concrete area. We then want to continue extending up the blue concretes, the ones that we have already extended up, by an additional two. One, two, one, two, one, two, and, well, that's it. We then want to join all of those together and also across to the entrance as well, like so. And the idea now is that if we start from the right hand side here, we want to place a glass block inside of this empty space. We then want to move through the blue concrete and place one, two, three glass, blue concrete. One, two, three glass. We already have a blue concrete. One, two, three glass, blue concrete, and finally one, two, three glass. And then, well, this will be yellow concrete eventually, like this. We can also fill the windows in using glass, although we will actually do that a little bit later on. So the next thing that we are going to do is lay out some of the inside of our IKEA. The first thing that we should do inside is lay some lines on the ground. The first of which is a row of blue concrete that connects the bottom right corner of the large blue rectangular shape that we placed earlier, joining the bottom right corner to the back right corner. You can see now it kind of resembles just a large 3D rectangular shape. So in doing that, what we can then do is we can also add some more lines in the ground. So for instance, where we have the yellow concrete here, if you extend the yellow concrete, the back right corner of it down to the ground using blue concrete, and then extend the blue concrete to the left and also the right, which takes a little bit more time. And if you also connect the same block that we extended left and right forwards, this actually helps us to divide up IKEA quite nicely. So the entrance of IKEA is directly underneath the large yellow shape that we have here. We'll be making the entrance a little bit more later. This is the entrance area, the kind of like lobby or foyer or whatever you may call it. Next, we have to subdivide the actual display floor, the showroom, into individual little rooms so that we can better show off all of the things that we have to sell at our IKEA. So come all the way to the back right corner of the build. The way that we want to do this is extend inwards one diagonally so we are actually on the floor and then extend left by one, two, three. 
and then forwards 1, 2. Place a blue concrete and extend it forwards by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Extend that fifth block to the left 1 and continue extending down by an additional 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Leave a gap of 2, 1, 2, and then place a blue concrete. Leave a gap of 2, 1, 2, and then place a row of 6 blue concrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Extend left by 1, and then extend down by a further 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the shape that we should end up with, which looks a little bit weird and <laughs> kind of like a face actually. And what we then want to do is extend the center blue concrete block. So the ones that we kind of like marked out already, we want to extend these blue concrete blocks all the way over to the left. So these will connect and also, by the way, we want to take the just single blue concrete that we placed as well and extend that all the way over to the left. And that will give us the outer shapes for our rooms. Like this. So all we have to do is divide these up into three rooms each. Or six, technically. Three on each side. You'll see what I mean. So, starting at the front here, where we have, of course, this sticky out row of blue concrete, well, we want to leave a gap of seven between the end and the next row of blue concrete that we want to place. So, left of this block, leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then place a blue concrete. And then do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this eighth block place a blue concrete. Extend the blue concretes inwards to join to the horizontal row, and there we have three evenly divided rooms. We can then take those vertical rows of blue concrete and we can extend them through onto the next onto the next part of the showroom, and now we have six rooms. And we want to also do the exact same thing on this side as well. So this row of blue concrete here is a dividing row for our IKEA. It might even be a better idea to turn it yellow, so it's a little bit more standout-ish. But regardless of this, we then want to take the exact same area that we have on the back as we do the front, leave a gap of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blue concrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, blue concrete. And then extend these blue concretes inwards like this, and then through onto the other side. And then this will show us pretty much the rooms that we are able to display all of our wares with. Well, that's the showroom subdivided up, but what about the rest of our IKEA? So, the place where we actually pay the warehouse and the extended other part of IKEA has to be divided up as well. If we start from the beginning where we have this cross section of blue concrete that forms the entrance, the cafe and also part of the showroom, we want to extend this blue concrete off to the left. This will be the till area. This is where we pay. If we move up upwards through IKEA, so you can see where we have this horizontal cut through row. This, this is in between two of the actual showrooms. If we move up and line up with the end of the showrooms here, we then want to place a row of blue concrete that divides this area up. So I don't know whether it's easier to look at it from the sky like this, but that is how we want to divide things up. In addition to this, we want to come a bit further up and where we have this row of blue concrete that cuts the showrooms in half once more, we are going to leave a gap of two, so one, two, and then we also want to divide this room up using blue concrete as well. And hopefully this hasn't been too complicated for you. The next part of this is incredibly simple. We have to dig out the entire floor plan of our IKEA. That's right, you heard me. The entire floor plan. So every single block within the grid, dig it all out, and then we will move on from there.
With the entire ground dug out for our IKEA, we are now able to replace it with something that looks a little bit better. This is going to be really easy, yet once again, time consuming. Underneath the windows on the front of our IKEA, I want you to place blue concrete. That makes it look so much better underneath the glass. The restaurant slash cafe area is going to have a chiseled quartz floor. This is the only place in IKEA that actually uses this floor. We are going to use oak planks to floor every single one of the showrooms. We can change that later on, but for now we are going to make everything oak planks as default. So inside every single one of the individual display rooms we want to use oak planks. This also applies to the back left side of our IKEA in which we have a plant room and we also have an individual furniture room. The floor for that will also be oak planks. Now the reason that I am mentioning all of these different types of floors is because once we have placed all of the chiseled quartz, the blue concrete and the oak planks, the entire rest of our IKEA, this even applies to outside, the tell area, everywhere else, we want to place smooth stone as the flooring material. That is a huge area to cover. With our entire IKEA newly floored, look at the size of this place, it must have cost a fortune. We can now move on to the walls, which are really, really simple. Building up the walls of our IKEA should be really simple. We're going to start on the right side of the build. We want to make the right and back wall, or most of the back wall, as high as the blue concrete that we have on the front of the build. This is the blue concrete where we have the windows. Once we have successfully raised up the right and back portions, most of the back, to equal the height of the blue concrete on the front, we now have the larger left side of IKEA to fill in as well. This is all simply blue concrete. Once you've filled in the back and left side, we also have a little bit of blue concrete on the front to fill in as well, as well as some of the yellow concrete for the entrance area. We are only filling in the outer parts of the yellow. We have some interior walls to raise up on the inside of IKEA as well. We want to divide the left and right side of IKEA. This was really simple. We already placed the row on the ground earlier. Raise that row from the floor to the ceiling. This is the row that literally cuts the build in half on the left side from front to back. We then want to raise, on the inside of the larger portion of IKEA, we want to raise the front two horizontal rows of blue concrete up as high as the roof. The back row, that is a little bit lower and all by its lonesome, wants to get raised up by three rows. The rest of IKEA, we also want to raise up the blue concrete that surrounds the cafe area, this is around the chiseled quartz, the row that literally once again cuts IKEA in half at the front from the entire left to the entire right area and back to the entrance, that blue concrete wants to get raised up as high as the surrounding walls. All of the showcase area, the rooms, we only want to increase the size of the walls by three using the blue concrete. The dividing wall in between the two separate showrooms, in between the two halves of the showroom I should say, I'm replacing that with yellow concrete and I'm making that as high as the showrooms as well. So these are a little bit lower than the rest of the rows that we've talked about. Once all of those rows have been increased to the right size, we can now move on to the next part. With all of the walls complete, we are now going to focus on the roof. So the roof is really easy to fill in once we have divided it up. Let's start with the actual entrance area. So on the front of the build, we are first of all going to, at the top of the entrance here, we are going to add an extra row of one, two, three, four yellow concrete to the top of the yellow concrete entrance area that extends towards the back of the build. So we are dividing it up a little bit and you can see that the 
amount of space left is the same amount of space that we have for the cafe. The showroom roof is different to the rest of the roof. As a matter of fact, it's the only roof that has detail involved. So I want you to come to the front right corner of where the showroom begins, which is here. And we're going to start off by placing a row of two glass extending backwards in the roof. One, two. Then a blue concrete. Nine glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Blue concrete. Two glass. Blue concrete. Two glass. Blue concrete. Nine glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One blue concrete. Two glass. So the row should look like this. Not too complicated. What we then want to do is we want to extend all of the glass coming across the top of the roof by two. So one, two, one, two, so on and so forth. So extend every single glass part of the roof across by two. So we want to have a row of three glass in total. The blue concrete is a little bit different. So once all of the glass has been extended, we then want to extend the blue concrete in between and around all of the glass like this. And this will form a pretty interesting shape. It will end up looking exactly like that. Now, once that has been complete, the roof gets incredibly easy to build. Now, all we have to do to complete the roof is extend across the blue concrete that sits in between the layers of glass that we placed ever so slightly earlier. This will divide the showroom roof into nice little different sections. It will look really cool from the sky and also from inside the build. And once those rows of blue concrete have been added, we pretty much then fill the entire roof section in with glass block. And that's it. The only little adjustment that you may want to make is we might want to just add a little row of yellow concrete just above the entrance where that skylight is and it just makes it look a little bit nicer. That's it. Everywhere else, glass block. That has been so much building. We have accomplished so much for what in the video must seem such a short amount of time. We have placed so many blocks. But now we have completed the walls, we have completed the layout for the interior, the roof, we can now add the final detail. So the first thing that I want to do, and puzzlingly we haven't done this already, is I just want to fill in these front windows using glass block. There's nothing special here, we probably should have done it during the time lapse, but that's okay. It's not too much glass to fill in. And once those front windows have been placed, I now want to move towards the entrance area. So, left of this row of yellow concrete here, I want to place a row of free glass. One, two, three. That's from the floor upwards. Add another row of glass next to it a row of glass pane, and then place two end rods in front of this extending up from the floor on top of each other, and then destroy the bottom one. Leave a gap of one, and then place a row of glass pane extending up from the floor like this, and then two end rods extending up from the floor on top of each other, destroy the bottom one. We're then going to extend the glass pane towards this wall using glass block, and that will give us a nice glass door. We're then going to place yellow concrete on top of the door and extend the yellow concrete upwards to join to the roof, like this. We're also going to fill just above the door in here using yellow concrete, extending to the outer shape. We can even 
fill this area in with yellow concrete as well. So I'm just going to place a row of yellow concrete that just joins up to the row of yellow concrete that we placed earlier for that part in particular. And then I, I don't know whether it's a good idea to literally just fill this in or whether to to leave it. I guess it's going to be a bit of personal preference. I like the idea of there being a bit of yellow in here though. And we could accomplish a bit more yellow by destroying this wall here and replacing it using yellow concrete. That's probably enough though. If we make this wall yellow concrete, that's probably enough yellow for the entire build as I don't want it to be half and half. I want there to be a bit more blue than there is yellow. So. I think that, that that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I'm not sure about this row up here, but for now, I, I'm pretty happy with the result of that. So now we have the entrance. We have the walls on the inside 100% fully completed at this point. The next thing that we're going to do is in front of IKEA, extending from this yellow concrete, so this is yellow concrete, this pillar that kind of like joins the entrance, we're going to leave a gap of three from this, so one, two, three, place a yellow concrete, one, two, three, yellow concrete, one, two, three, yellow concrete, one, two, so on and so forth, extending all the way to the boundary. Those are just bollards. Now that we've done that, the last thing that we have to make for IKEA, the last thing, I promise, is the sign. So the sign is really, really simple to make. It's only four banners with a bit of blue dye. We need four yellow banners, some blue dye, and a loom. So throw the loom down on the ground, open it up. The first banner's going in there with the blue dye, and the first letter we have to make is I. So that's a vertical row of blue straight up the center of the banner. Next is K. So that is a vertical row of blue on the left side of the banner. And then both of the diagonal rows, or both the diagonal patterns, I should say, the Blue Bend and Blue Bend Sinister. Such weird names. Next, we have to make E. So that's a vertical row of blue on the left side and a horizontal row of blue at the top, through the middle, and along the bottom. Last but not least, A. Vertical row of blue on the left, on the right, horizontal across the top, and through the middle. A. Now, all we're going to do is place this in reverse order. So come all the way up to the top right, top front right-hand corner of the sign area, the entrance area here. From this corner, drop down one to the left diagonally, place an A, E, K, I, extending left. And there we have Ikea. Now, I did tell an ever so slight lie. There is one last thing that you may or may not want to add to your Ikea. This is very much an optional extra you may want to add a road. So I'm placing a row of five black concrete directly in front of Ikea, spanning the width of it. Starting from the middle of the row on the right side, I'm leaving a gap of one, and then I'm destroying one, two, three blocks, extending across the front of Ikea. So three white concrete, gap of one, three white concrete, gap of one, so on and so forth, just in front of Ikea. That's all I'm placing. This is really decorative. If you have your own roads in your city or your village or wherever you may be building this, you may want to, of course, place your very own roads using your very own designs, but this is just a decorative road for my own IKEA that just exists by itself. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. This is, of course, only part one. If you do want to make part two of IKEA, you should easily be able to find the link to the video. It will be in the description below. It will be at the end of this video on the end screen. The thumbnail looks like this. That should appear on the screen as well. That is if you want to make the entire inside of your IKEA. Thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe. Click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure they get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you want to make anything else by me that isn't part two of this IKEA, I will also link the City Builds playlist. That is in the exact same place as the description below and also at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.